Hello PC builders, Hello, uh, welcome to the $800 to $900 gaming PC build uh, of the month for February 2022, brought to you by noobcomputerbuild.com. Um, if you're tuning in for the second time here, or you tuned in last month, uh, there's not too many updates to this build in particular. Uh, I just posted the other two uh, higher end builds, which there were a ton of changes uh, to, so if you do have more of a budget and you want to check out what those changes were, do jump over to those uh, videos or jump over to the site here at noobcomputerbuild.com. Uh, but anyways, let's jump right into it. Uh, the $800 to $900 gaming PC build. Who is this for? This build's sort of for those who want to just get up and gaming. It's kind of a standard all, every person sort of gaming PC build. Uh, it's it's not overly powerful and it's not underpowered by any means. It, it's kind of, you can jump into a 1080p resolution monitor or into 1080p games and, and play at fairly high FPS at high settings. Uh, if you want to go into 1440p and things like that, you might want to jump over to a higher higher budget or anything like that or something like that. But uh, this is kind of that every person sort of gaming PC build, in my opinion. But let's get started. Uh, the CPU in this build is the Intel Core i5-11400. Great, great, great uh, gaming PC uh, CPU. Uh, $182.20. Uh, we throw in a cooler here, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Black. Uh, air cooler at $43.99 to cool this... Uh, CPU down. Uh, motherboard we have is the MSI B560M. Uh, motherboard $89.99. The graphics card that really uh, is the performance driver in this build is the uh, MSI NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650, $354.99. Uh, memory we have is the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit, two eight gigabyte sticks at 3200 megahertz at $66.99. Storage is the Western Digital 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD at $49.99. And then moving on, uh, the power supply for this one is the PVS 600 watt power supply at $51.99. And the case to bring it all together is, is the Zalman S4 uh, mid tower gaming case um, at $54.99, coming out to a total of $885.13 at the start of the month here. Um, so, not too many changes uh, to this bill compared to last month if you've been tuning in. If you have uh, some more money to spend, want some upgrade ideas or su suggestions, uh, and you have more than eight to nine hundred dollars to spend, here are some suggestions: uh, two forty nine ninety nine. If you want to upgrade to something like an Intel Core i five eleven six hundred K, better uh, CPU, uh, better graphics cards such as this XFX Speeder Speedster uh, Radeon RX sixty six hundred XT at six forty nine ninety nine, or more storage space space if you think you'll want that, such as this Crucial P two one terabyte at $124.98. That does it for this build. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be sure to get, reply to you as fast as I can. You can leave a comment here on the site as well at noobcomputerbuild.com. Uh, we also post many more builds here as well. But uh, Or if you're building in the coming months, hit subscribe and uh, you can keep up to date on these builds as they come out over the months. Uh, best of luck building. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment.